In this video, we would be talking about some misconceptions, some myth of functional interface with respect to interview questions in Java. So, let's start. First, we would look at definition of functional interface. An interface having exactly one abstract method is called functional interface. Now, if you look at definition, it is very concise, very short, but yes, it gives you whole concept. Let's understand what are the important points here. First is abstract method. Any method which does not have a body, a method with only signature is called abstract method. What could be the count of abstract method that defines a functional interface contract? Exactly one. Before moving ahead, let's see an example. Here I have a package called com.byteprogramming and an interface within this package byte program which has a method concept. Now as you know, in interface all the methods are by default public and abstract. So concept is a abstract method. What is the count of abstract method in byte program? When? So byte program can be considered as a functional interface. Let's look at some of the misconceptions. If we talk about the first point, functional interface was introduced as part of Java 8. Introduced means newly introduced, new feature. It is completely wrong statement. Why it is completely wrong? Because if you look before Java 8, we have comparable, we have comparator, we have runnable. They are functional interface also. In Java 8, new enhancement to functional interface come. For example, at the rate functional interface annotation more functional interface like predicate, supplier, consumer. Moving to next. Interface with single abstract method, default methods and static methods are not functional interface. Now, if you remember, default and static methods are introduced in Java 8 and both of these methods in interface provide implementation. So it is not an abstract method because abstract method will not have any implementation. So if you have a single abstract method, you could have any number of default and static methods. Still, the interface will be called a functional interface. Moving to next point. Comparator has two abstract methods equals and compare. So it is not a functional interface. Now if you remember right, on the definition I said there is a twist of which abstract method is going to be count as part of interface abstract methods. So this is an example of that. If you remember equals belong to object class. So the twist is if you put any method of object class in the interface as an abstract method, it will not going to be count as abstract method of that interface. Now you can ask why. If you remember the basics, any object in Java by default will inherit object class. Object is the super class in the Java. So comparator has only one method called compare that could be counted as abstract method. Hence, comparator is a functional interface. Moving to next point. Functional interface was introduced because of Lambda. Now, this is also a completely wrong statement. As I said earlier, functional interface like comparable, comparator, runnable are part of Java before Java 8 also. Lambda has been taken from Scala. There are some advantages of Lambda. If you look at the implementation of functional interface, 
for example comparator if you implement comparator before java 8 you have to implement in the class provide the implementation of compare method now with lambda it can be easily done with a single line of statement now you can say the anonymous implementation of functional interface could be made easier with lambda these two functional interface and lambda is making java move towards functional programming now let's quickly summarize all the concepts by the definition of functional interface an interface having exactly one abstract method is called functional interface with java 8 at the rate functional interface annotation is introduced for example you can put a function interface annotation like this default and static methods have body so it doesn't count towards interface abstract method any abstract declaration of public methods of object class in interface will not count to interface abstract method common examples runnable comparable comparator predicate consumer supplier function now if you look from the interview point completely then this point default and static methods this point any abstract declaration of public methods of object class and comparable comparator predicate are most important with respect to interviews so this was all about myth and misconceptions of functional interface stay tuned and subscribe